How to check memory usage on Mac. First of all, go to the upper right corner of the screen and click on the magnifying glass. Then search for Activity Monitor. And once you found it, click on it. Now on top, make sure that the Memory tab is selected. It might take a couple of seconds for the data to appear here, so don't worry about that. Once you have the data on the screen, under Memory, you can see which applications use the most memory. At the moment, I only have minor processes running, so in my case, the memory usage at this very moment is very low. But now let me quickly open up some heavy applications such as Premiere Pro and Illustrator, and then let's have a look at how the memory usage changes. We now have both Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Illustrator running, and as you can see, these two applications use by far the most memory in my case. There are a couple more cool things you can see and do here in the Activity Monitor. First of all, you can directly close applications from here. To do so, simply make sure to click on the application that you would like to close, and then on top, click on the stop icon. Are you sure you want to quit this process? Yes, I am, so I'll click on quit. And just like that, Adobe Illustrator is now closed. This is really useful because whenever your Mac becomes super, super slow, you can check the activity monitor, find the applications that use the most memory and simply close them from there. Last but not least, at the bottom of the activity monitor, you also get some nice summary about your memory. You can see the physical memory, which is nothing else than the total amount of RAM that you have on your Mac. And then memory used is the total memory used by the applications that are currently running. On the left side here, what is also interesting is the memory pressure graphic. When everything's fine and you have a lot of memory left, then you will only see green here in memory pressure. If you use a lot of heavy applications or don't have a lot of physical memory altogether, this can turn into yellow or even red. If you find yourself seeing red here under memory pressure very often, then it's probably time for you to buy some more physical memory for your Mac. Also, when everything's red here under memory pressure, then it's obviously also time for you to close some of the applications that use the most memory. And this is how you check memory usage on your Mac. It doesn't matter if it's an old MacBook, a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air. For all of these, you will find the exact memory usage in the activity monitor. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more Mac tutorials.